Okay, so one of the factors that probably contributes to the albatross not being successful here on Midway is how much plastic they ingest at sea. And the parents ingest this and then feed it to their chicks. And a lot of what we find are bits and pieces of broken plastic, uh, lots of caps. This is a cap to a magic marker. Here's a big piece of melted plastic. And one of the problems with that is that it also melted plastic will usually have PCBs associated with the surface area. Here's a little medical vial. Some kind of injectable was in here and this then floats. And the birds are programmed to kind of pick up anything on the surface of the sea and they think that's food. And since the 50s we've been pumping lots of plastic um, through trash into the ocean and it floats and the birds pick it up. Here's a fishing lure. And you can see how big this stomach's supposed to be full of food and instead it's full of all these big pieces of plastic and so the stomach's only so big and so a lot of the volume is taken up by the plastics that it ingests and then it feels full when it probably isn't and therefore it may stop feeding from the parent when it has all that plastic in it. Something else you'll notice in here which is natural is pumice. And pumice is probably not the best thing to have in the stomach, but you'll also notice that it has softer, rounder end edges as compared to something like this. And this can puncture, or this probably won't. And puncturing the inside lining of the stomach can also cause a problem for the bird which may cause it to die. 